Ed. The movie begins with a nurse named Greg kneeling, practicing a marriage proposal with an elderly patient in his care. He thanks the old man for helping him rehearse how he will propose to his girlfriend. After checking on the patient's health, Greg leaves the room. The scene then shifts to the outside of a school where Pam, a teacher, is finishing her day with her young students. Greg arrives at the school and the children notice him and tell Pam her friend is outside. She goes out to meet Greg, who has been her boyfriend for a long time, and plans to propose to her that day. As they talk, Greg pretends to tie his shoe to Neil. He had previously arranged with Pam's students to help with his proposal by holding up letters that spell, Marry me, Pam. However, the kids mix up the letters. Just as Greg tries to correct them, Pam receives a phone call from her sister, Debbie, announcing her upcoming marriage in two weeks. The call interrupts the proposal and Pam and Greg decide to travel to her parents' place for Debbie's engagement. At her parents' house, Pam introduces Greg, but her father acts coldly towards him. Greg, who dislikes cats, pretends to be okay with the family cat to avoid upsetting Pam's parents. Later, Pam's mother finds a gift from Greg, a rare flower, knowing that Pam's father used to be a florist. During dinner, Pam's mom reveals that her husband is starting a new business focused on secret security cameras hidden in everyday objects to monitor nannies. Suddenly, Jack, Pam's father, receives a call and discreetly heads out, claiming he needs to buy more alcohol. Pam advises her dad to invite Greg to come along to the store. At the store, Jack tells Greg he will meet him later and slips away to meet the mysterious caller. Greg stepped outside and caught Jack talking to someone. He hid behind a magazine stand to watch. When he saw Jack coming his way, he grabbed a magazine to look busy. Jack asked what he was doing and Greg said he was reading. The magazine had some nasty images, leading Greg to lie about growing up on a farm. They then returned home. During dinner, Jack asked Greg to say grace. Greg hesitantly agreed, but his prayer was awkward, making everyone uncomfortable, although Pam's mom praised it. After, Jack became emotional while reading a poem about his deceased mother. He asked Greg about his life on the farm, but Pam corrected him, saying Greg grew up in Detroit. But Jack said Greg claimed to grow up on the farm. Greg rambled and mentioned milking a cat, which embarrassed Pam. To divert from the awkward moment, Greg mentioned he had bought champagne at the store, went to get it, popped it, and accidentally knocked over a vase with the cork, spilling Jack's mother's ashes. The family cat started licking the ashes despite Pam's protests. Later, Jack and his wife visited Greg's room to reassure him that the vase incident was just an accident and took no offense. Jack then mentioned he knew about Greg's intimate relationship with Pam and insisted they refrain from further intimacy in his house for the next 72 hours until after Pam's sister's engagement. He asked Greg to move to the basement since Pam's sister and her fiancé would need his room. In the basement, Greg could hear Jack and his wife talking from their room. He overheard them joking about how odd Pam's name would sound if she married him. Pamela Martha Fokker which sounded like Mother Fokker. This made Greg awkward and he accidentally slipped and fell. Then a secret door opens, discovering Jack's hidden life, including photos with influential people like a former US president. Jack later caught him there snooping around. While there, Greg tried a polygraph machine and Jack started asking him peculiar questions. Later, Greg met with Pam and complained about the polygraph. She confessed that the flower job was just a cover. Her dad was actually a CIA agent. The next morning, Jack approached Greg, swore him to secrecy, and welcomed him into the family circle. Later, Greg met Pam's sister and her in-laws. They exchanged pleasantries before heading to her fiancé Kevin's place, where Kevin discussed his interests in art and carpentry with Greg. After their chat, they headed to the pool to play a game of water polo. Everyone was having fun and the game got pretty intense. Unfortunately, Greg hit the ball too hard and it struck Pam's sister in the face, causing serious injury. Her eyes swelled up as a result. Back at Pam's parents' house, Pam and Greg were kissing when Jack barged in. He checked the bathroom and found that the toilet had been flushed. He questioned Greg, who denied using it and jokingly suggested the cat might have done it. Jack was skeptical and to make matters worse, flushing the toilet somehow caused stinky water to flood the area outside the building. This was where they planned to use for the wedding. Greg was blamed, although he insisted it wasn't his fault. At the same time, Kevin arrived in a truck, bringing a wooden altar he'd made. Unaware of the flood, he ended up spilling dirt on everyone. Jack, now distrustful of Greg, went to his room to investigate. He opened a box he thought belonged to Greg, which turned out to be the wrong one given to Greg by the airport. The contents alarmed Jack enough to check Greg's background. While Jack was investigating in his room, Greg let the cat, Jinx, outside, and it ran up to the roof. Greg climbed up after it to bring it back in. While on the roof, Jack received information confirming that Greg hadn't completed his medical school exams, contrary to what he had claimed. Jack shared this with his wife and Pam, but Pam didn't believe him. On the roof, Greg found a cigarette Pam had tossed there earlier because her dad doesn't like smoking. 
He smoked it briefly, heard Jack calling from downstairs, speaking tied to someone on the phone, threw the cigarette onto some dry leaves on the roof, and resumed chasing the cat. He caught the cat, but by then, his discarded cigarette had ignited the leaves, starting a small fire. In an attempt to extinguish the fire, Greg accidentally hit the edge of the roof, dislodging it. The edge fell and hit an electric wire, causing sparks and setting fire to the wedding field. The wooden altar, chairs, and grass caught fire. Panicking, Greg hurried back inside through a window. Everyone then worked together to put out the fire. After the fire was extinguished, they couldn't find the cat. Jack jokingly accused Greg of milking the cat, which was supposed to carry the rings down the aisle as the ring bearer. Pam was upset by this and they asked Greg to go find the cat. At a nearby house, Greg found a cat that looked similar to Jinx but with a differently colored tail. He returned to the wedding site with this cat and everyone, including Jack, was thrilled and relieved. Later, at a restaurant, Greg was on the phone trying to find the actual cat. It turns out he had painted the tail of the substitute cat to make it resemble Jinx. Back at the house, the imposter cat got stuck in the wedding dress. Meanwhile, at the restaurant, Greg went back to continue his phone call. Jack used the other phone booth and accidentally picked up the phone Greg was using. The caller revealed the cat had been found, and Jack realized Greg had brought the wrong cat, though he didn't confront Greg about it. Eager to get home quickly to retrieve the cat, Greg suggested driving and started speeding. Jack drove another car, and they raced each other, stopping at every red light. Jack then took a shortcut and reached home before Greg. When everyone entered the house, it was in complete chaos because of the new cat. Jack picked up the cat, smelled paint on it, and confronted Greg. They also found out Greg was responsible for the fire in the yard. Annoyed, Greg revealed Jack's secret about planning a covert operation in Thailand after the wedding and that Jack could speak Thai, something even his wife didn't know. It turned out Jack wasn't retired. Jack then defended himself saying he arranged a surprise honeymoon in Thailand for the couple. Embarrassed by the revelations, Greg left their home. Later, Pam found out Greg actually did take his exam. She confronted her dad who had lied about Greg's qualifications. Her mom was there and was disappointed that Jack could have misled them about Greg. Pam then left a message for Greg saying she missed him, which her father overheard. Using his CIA contacts, Jack tracked down Greg's location and rushed to the airport to catch him before he left. At the airport, Greg had trouble storing his luggage overhead. A flight attendant told him it needed to be checked because of its size. Greg refused, citing past issues with checked luggage, which led to an argument and his being removed from the plane by security. While being interrogated by security, Jack arrived, questioned him about his actions and intentions, and realized Greg truly loved his daughter. They made peace and Jack gave Greg a ring with a big smile. Greg returned to Pam and proposed to her. The movie ended with the wedding of Pam's sister. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.